Hi everyone, it's Shalva with Life is No Yoke. We are live today and I like to start every live demonstration with this magical Vitamix trick, which is steaming hot cashew queso right out of the blender container. So this is one of our most popular recipes, cashews, nutritional yeast, almonds, a red pepper, and it makes this steaming hot cashew queso ready to serve. When I say ready to serve, I should pour it, I should plan it like that next time. All right, ready to serve cashew queso, heated up by the friction of the Vitamix blades. So you put the ingredients in, you let it run on the soup setting if you've got a setting on your Vitamix container, or you let it run for five or six minutes and it will heat up ready to serve cashew queso. So why am I here showing you cashew queso today? Um, because Vitamix is running a big uh, deal starting today. Starting today? Starting today and running all week. And yeah. running all week. Yeah. I've got Lenny here with me um, to back me up with some of the finer details of this um, Vitamix deal and also some of the specifics. We've got a very random setup today. We've got a main camera here for our live. Lenny behind an iPad over here on his laptop and a B-roll camera down here that we're going to have to restart every 10 minutes or so. So you're along for the ride. Um, and we'll put a QR code up there. And we're going to put a QR code up here on this video. So if you're ready to get a Vitamix today or if you've got more questions that we can answer for you, the QR code to our website and our links is right here. The QR code probably goes to the to the actual deal, It'll right? take you to the Vitamix site to get these to deals. To buy direct to get these deals here. But if you need more information below are links to our website, right? They just want to see me make food. Moving on. Okay, <laughs> here we go. So the next thing we're going to make on this A3500, which is part of the deal this week, um, this is an a3500, so part of the Ascent series. This is the highest end uh, blender that Vitamix sells. You can tell it's special because it's got this digital screen. It's got five preset wash, spreads, soups. That's the one I use for the queso. Frozen dessert smoothie. So we're gonna make a smoothie. So I am going to make the OMG green smoothie, formerly the Carolyn's smoothie. I'm gonna use one cup of a milk of your choice. And then always put the liquid in first. That's a good um, Vitamix trick. And then I'm gonna use half a banana and I'll feed the other half of the banana to my children who are like monkeys and they eat all the bananas. Half a banana. I'm gonna do half an orange. At least one of my children will eat the other half of this orange. Um, and we're gonna peel it. With lemons, you can put the whole lemon peel in, but with an orange, it's kind of bitter. So we are going to take the peel off of an orange. So an orange, I'm putting my softer ingredients in first. So my liquid and then the orange, the banana. This is kale, but you could use any leafy green. Um, that's where the health benefits of this smoothie are. I'm putting in flax, about a tablespoon, but you can do whatever, seed, hemp, chia, anything like that. And then I've got a cup and a half of frozen mango. And that's gonna get us that like thick, smoothie, creamy texture that we're looking for. So because I'm using the A3500, um, I am going to blend it on the smoothie setting. That's the preset. The recipe for this is on our website, Life is No Yolk. Again, it's called the OMG Green Smoothie. Lenny named that smoothie, right? Yes. Okay. So I'm pressing the smoothie button. It sets it for 50 seconds. Run it up. Dance. 
right, so 50 seconds. Normally, I wouldn't just stand behind my blender and do a little dance because it's a preset. I would be multitasking breakfast for the rest of the family. I would be grabbing toast and peanut butter and all of the things. And that's the magic of a preset is that you can, it's walk away blending. Um, unless you feel like dancing, you can always stay behind the blender and dance as much as you like. Sometimes you just feel like dancing. So this is the OMG green smoothie. Creamy, creamy, luscious, thick, delicious. We make a green juice every morning. This is a green smoothie, just a thicker texture, um, more satisfyingly filling. A juice is more for nutritional value and a pick-me-up and a smoothie is more for like filling you up, maybe after a workout or before taking all your kids to school or something like that. So good. We don't make this one as often. I forget how good that one is. One more step. Okay. So the recipe for that one is on our website, Life is No Yolk. Again, we're, uh, there's a deal this week on the uh, Vitamix A3500. They're doing a package. So we're going to, a bundle is what they like to call it. We're going to talk about what is in the bundle. In a minute. In a second. What's the next? Well, I want to make a detox salad, okay. but I need a regular blender container. So is that this one for me? This will work. Okay. All right. So the next thing we're going to make is our detox salad. So let's see if I can grab all the ingredients here. The ingredients are kale, cauliflower, purple cabbage, and carrots. Okay. So those are all of my ingredients that I'm going to use. I need a spatula. My drawers are all locked so that the children cannot get into them. Okay. So what I'm going to do is use the container that comes with the A3500, any A3500, any of the Ascent models comes with the 64 ounce container, correct? Yeah, really any model can do what we're doing. Well, I was going to say that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So in the 64 ounce container, I'm going to chop these vegetables. Any full-size Vitamix can do this task. The magic of the task is with the tamper. I need the tamper to be able to do this type of chopping. So um, I am going to put some cauliflower in. My hack is to use the pieces that I wouldn't use in another dish, so something like this or like this. So I'm going to make cauliflower curry sometime this week. So I took all the pretty pieces that like you would see in a nice dinner dish and used those for my curry and then I used all the pieces that like are kind of goofy shaped in my detox salad. So I'm going to do one ingredient at a time just so that you can see. Um, cauliflower, I think, is the funnest one because you can rice cauliflower like this. So what I really am doing for this detox salad for the first step is ricing cauliflower. So you obviously could do this for um, rice cauliflower dishes like fried rice or something. So in this case, I'm going to use the pulse feature and I'm just going to go on level one. Some of them I might go up for two, but this is the pulse. This is start. This is pulse. So pulse means I have a lot of control, which is... awesome if I'm doing something like this or making like a salsa or something if I want to control the texture. So you see I just had my tamper to kind of wiggle it around in the middle um, and I have this perfectly riced cauliflower. Should I put it in this camera? That'll work. Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Okay. Um, I like to pretend like I'm on a big movie set when I'm in the kitchen making rice cauliflower. Okay, so you'll see the texture of that is awesome for other dishes if you want to sub cauliflower for rice. So that's a good one. Um, then I'm going to do kale. Uh, I did take the big chunky cores off of this kale already um, because I'm not blending it all the way through. So with that green smoothie, I did leave the cores in because it's just going to blend it all up. But with the detox salad, because I'm not thoroughly blending it. I'm just chopping it, finely chopping it. I don't need to, or I do need to take the cores out. So I'm going to pulse again. With 
this one I might go up to level two just to finely chopped. So the recipe for this salad is, I'm gonna go one more, is also on our website, Life is No Yolk. We teach you how to make this salad. I think we've got a really good video on it too on our YouTube channel. Um, and we teach you how to make a really fancy dressing made with avocado with it. But to be honest, almost always when we eat this, we just throw some olive oil and balsamic vinegar on it. And it is super delicious and it saves us the steps of making a homemade dressing. Sometimes we get fancy and we make the homemade dressing, but more, than, more often than not, we just make it like this. Um, so the recipe is on lifeisnoyolk.com for that. Next ingredients, carrots. You can do baby carrots or big carrot. Um, these are the loudest, so, because they kind of bump around in there, but they chop it perfectly. So if you've got someone in your household that doesn't like vegetables, sometimes chopping them super small like this helps um, I know a lot of people don't like kale because they're like, ah, I'm chewing roughage. But if you chop it super small like this, it's much more palatable for certain people. Um, so kind of a thing that you could try if you've got a picky eater in your household. Not necessarily a child, could be a spouse, could be a roommate. Um, whoever it is that needs more vegetables, you can always give this a try. And then the last ingredient is purple cabbage. Um, use less than you think you need for this because it somehow gets huge. And by gets huge, I mean you end up with a lot more than you think you're going to from small pieces. All right. We have got perfectly chopped, chopped cabbage. So remember that any Vitamix machine can do this. I am using the A3500, which is the highest end luxury model, if you will. Um, but if you've got a tamper and you've got a Vitamix, it can make chopped salad like this. Um, but, but, there's always a but, right? I'm using the traditional container right now to make this salad. Um, another thing that you can do is you can use the food processor attachment. So we've got this fancy, awesome food processor attachment. What's so cool about this is that you have, it's like a streamlined version. So you have this, that's the Vitamix base that stays on your counter. You do your smoothies and your soups and your dressings and all that. And then when you have a recipe that you need a food processor for, instead of taking out a whole other appliance, you just bring out another container. So this container comes with the traditional food processor blade, blade, um, but it also comes with a handful of discs. So we're gonna use um, the thin slice disc to show you what this thing can do. So I would use this to make this salad. I would use this, we often make a falafel that we do in here, if you're making like oatmeal protein bites, something like that. This is on backwards, Shalva. You weren't gonna say anything? Just watching me put it on backwards. You missed it, too much multitasking. Too much multitasking. Um, so, what was I saying? Oh, we make falafel in here, you can make hash browns in here, um, but the thing that I use it the most for is thinly slicing hard vegetables for our lasagna. Um, I use noodles. I'm not subbing zucchini for noodles. You can do that. I like noodles. We eat a lot of noodles around here, but I do like veggies in my lasagna. So that's what I'm going to show you is how you can thinly slice veggies. Um, and you could make this detox salad, which again, the recipe is on lifeisnoyolk.com. This is one of the recipes that we came up with years ago. We've been doing this for a really long time. Um, Lenny, how many years have you been working, working the Vitamix beat? Almost 12 years. Almost 12 years, I, so. Mm -hmm. I did the math. I think, I think we've, I think we're talking like 25,000 customers. 25,000 customers we have helped 
find the right Vitamix, use the right Vitamix, love their Vitamix, tell their friends about Vitamix. That's a lot of customers. I didn't know that. I, I mean, I think that's right. That's crazy. That's okay. Crazy. That's a lot of wonders. So I'm going to go out on a limb and say we're like Vitamix pros um, if we've helped that many people buy Vitamixes um, and use their Vitamix. So this is one of the recipes that people come back for over and over and over again. They're like, ugh, you sold me on the detox salad. So you can make it in the traditional blender. You can make it in the food processor. Um, I am going to show you. I already, there's like no graceful way to like bring three giant things over. Okay. Um, I'm going to show you how the food processor works. So you have to have a, a scent model for the food processor to be, to recognize it. So right now it's saying, I don't recognize you. So I just need to tighten something. Most of the time, it just means you've got something on a little wiggly. Still doesn't like it. We tested this before and it worked perfectly. Now will you work? No. <laughs> Maybe try the multi-use blade. Sure. You want to chop like that? Yeah. Chop and chop. Let's see. Technical difficulties. Okay. Did that work? No. Cool. Okay. Live TV, folks. Yeah, right? That's what you get for watching me try to struggle live. Interesting. All right, give me... 20 more seconds to try to fix it. And if not, we'll skip that part and figure it out later. We'll come back. Thin slice. Clicky on. So this clicks on. Click. Good thing there's high speed scrubbing on these live feeds. I don't even know what high speed scrubbing well, is. You can just skip right past this. Oh, yeah. It's just. What okay. should I do? I don't know. Can I try? Yeah. We tried. We tested this right before. All right. I'm going to peel sweet potatoes while you try. All right. This is what happens when you call the consultant. It'll just work. <laughs> right after I said we were Vitamix pros. Amateur hour. Amateurs. Here's the thing. There is a learning curve on this machine. The other, yeah. It does take a minute to learn how to use it and to get really good at it. And, you know, these recipes that we develop, they're like with so much practice and so many reps of doing them over and over that we can do them by heart. But when you're just starting off with a Vitamix, obviously, you have to learn how to use stuff, and sometimes there's a trick. A lot of the containers have... So not really sure what... The... Did it work that time? Yeah, so there's a lot of safety mechanisms on here to make sure that everything's on and clicked. Nothing holds it on to the base, but it holds itself together. So you have to make sure it's clicked here, 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 and here. And once everything is on tight, then it'll tell you, okay, you're good to go. So that's actually a good... Yeah. So Teaching moments. it doesn't want you to press on until it's sure that it can be on safely, um, which honestly, if you've got kids in your home or older people in your home or pets in your home, um, that's a really nice feature because you know that it's not going to turn on. Um, let's see if it'll go the right way here. Yep. Okay you know it's not gonna turn on when it's not supposed to. Um, and I really like that because I oftentimes have my kids help me in the kitchen and I would like to trust that the machine has my back. Um, okay, so let's see if we can show you the magic that is the food processor. I'm just gonna press start, it goes at one speed um, and it should chop this zucchini for me. <laughs> Perfect. 
perfectly chopped zucchini. I'm gonna do the sweet potato and then I'll take the top off and show you guys what it looks like. <laughs> All right. I love that. What? It's just so quick and satisfying. It's so satisfying. So we kind of joke because Lenny and I didn't grow up in a household with a food processor. Like, and both of our moms cook a lot. And we're like, oh my gosh, their lives would have been so much easier. Like, I'm thinking of the like holiday dishes and stuff that our parents made that they like hand grated things for that they wouldn't have to do anymore. So you've got a perfectly sliced, um, zucchini and sweet potato this is a like a really good tool if you're trying to just like eat a little healthier um, because it makes vegetables more accessible to you so you might not be hand layering a beautiful ratatouille casserole but you might want to throw in vegetables into whatever you're eating and make it easier and more accessible for yourself and this is a really good tool for that so why am I talking about the food processor? Because it is part of the bundle that is on sale this week. So the bundle is the A3500 in oh. the black graphite. Yeah, so it's the A3500 Deluxe Smart Prep Kitchen System. Say that one more time. The A3500 Deluxe Smart Prep Kitchen System. This is why Lenny's here, because I didn't want to memorize that one line. Um, just kidding. He's so useful in, in every other way. Um, so that bundle comes with this blender base, which is the A3500 in the graphite black color. It's black stainless. Black stainless. Why'd you let me say graphite three times? <laughs> black stainless color, um, which looks good in most kitchens, um, especially if you have stainless steel appliances. Um, and it comes with the food processor attachment and it comes with the 48 ounce container, which is this, which we're going to make a frozen dessert in, in a minute. So that's the bundle is, I've got a dirty container for you, but it is what it is. Lots of dirty containers. I know. We're yeah. going to have a lot of dishes. Well, they're used, especially the 48 ounce container. The one you get will be bright and shiny. Yes, obviously you're going to get a new one. This is ours that we use in our household, a yeah. family of five. So it's um, been through the ringer. But we do have some tips and tricks on how to keep your um, containers looking fresh and nice on our website, lifeisnewyork.com. Because again, we've been doing this for a really long time and we're Vitamix pros and we have tips on how to get turmeric out of your container and how to keep your container from being cloudy and all of that on our site. So. Um, this is the bundle, what you see here. So the traditional 64 ounce container, the uh, food processor attachment, and the 48 ounce container that we're gonna make a frozen dessert in, right? That's the next one. We made a queso, we made juice, we made detox salad, we chopped some veggies for you. Time, well, did you wanna see how, oh, I showed you the veggies. You guys, I showed you the veggies. Okay, let's do frozen dessert. All right. So the frozen dessert that we are making today is an all fruit frozen dessert and the base is frozen bananas. You can hide vegetables in this frozen dessert if you want. A really good uh, vegetable to hide is cauliflower. It's virtually tasteless once you put fruit on top of it. Uh, that's a good one to just kind of like sneak in there. Today we're blending frozen bananas, frozen pineapple, frozen mango. I'm using the 48 ounce container, which means I don't have to blend quite as much as I would need to if I were using the 64 ounce container. Um, the minimum batch size is smaller in something like this. So unless I'm making ice cream for a lot of people, I would use this. I use this container all the time at our house. Um, many mornings we do like a smoothie bowl and pancake batter or a detox salad and a dressing. And there's a lot of times where I'm using both, but then there's a lot of times where I just get this one out of the cabinet and I, I just want to make something smaller. So um, all of my dressings I would make in here. Um, what else do I use this one for a lot? You I said it's, it's, <laughs> yeah. it's dressings. Yeah, dressings. Uh, small batches of small ice cream. Batches of ice small cream. batches of nut butter. Nut butter is, we use this one a lot for nut butter. Small batches of hummus. 
Yep. The thick stuff. The thick stuff yeah. that I, I don't want a ton of. So if I want a ton of it, soup, I'm making that in the big container. I'm not going to make a little batch of soup for a family of five. But I'm also, I don't want 12 cups of dressing um, when I'm done making a dressing either. So the 48 ounce container is great for frozen desserts, especially if you live alone um, or if you're a two person household. So I've got a bunch of frozen fruit here. Again, it's frozen bananas, frozen pineapple, frozen mango. Um, and most of the ingredients here are frozen. I do need a little bit of liquid to get this going. So I'm using coconut milk because it's kind of like a um, tropical, tropical theme here. Um, this is canned, like thick coconut milk, but you really could use any milk here. Um, I probably am going to need my tamper. So let's give that a rinse. I'm gonna have so many dishes to do after this, you guys. When do we have to pick up the kids? 25 minutes. We can do this. <laughs> okay. So all I do is press the frozen dessert button here and let the Vitamix do its thing. I am gonna be here to back it up with the tamper. Do you need to restart this camera? Are we good? I think we're good. Okay. Um, I'm gonna back it up with the tamper if it needs it and hopefully it comes out with a perfect frozen dessert. <laughs> That sound sounds scary, but it's okay. It's just the Vitamix working hard. Okay, so I know some of you are like, oh, sounded so scary she's breaking that blender but I promise you I'm not remember we're Vitamix pros we've been doing this for a long time that sound is this fine machine working at its best when it's on level 10 it kicks into high gear that's where it wants to be like we've used this metaphor a lot but it's like a race car like sure a race car can go 20 miles down a residential street but like it is built for speed it wants to be on high that's how the Vitamix is too so that sound is it working its hardest, doing its best to get all these ingredients blended up. And it did it perfectly. Um, a lot of times I think people call customer service and are like, oh my God, I'm breaking my blender. And they're like, is it making a chugging sound? Yeah, okay, well then it's doing its job. Um, so one of the things when you get a new Vitamix is that you get a little scared to use it, especially on high. Both of our moms, the first time they used their Vitamix, they were like, I've been using it on level four. And we're like, stop it. Like, you can buy a, a blender at the Dollar Tree and use it on level four. If you have a Vitamix, use it on 10. Look at this. Perfectly smooth, creamy, mostly frozen ingredients. Tropical. Now I want to put like um, shredded coconut on top. That would be so pretty. Gorgeous. Isn't it? Yeah. It looks so good. Um, I could have blended for another couple seconds to get some of these like pineapple chunks out, but I think that that is delicious personally. Um, so that's the frozen dessert in the 48 ounce container. Um, we have lots of recipes for frozen desserts on our website, lifeisnoyolk.com. We're putting a QR code up here to take you to um, the Vitamix deal that's running this week. Um, we've got links to everything below. Um, every blender that we're featuring today, um, the deal that we're featuring today. Um, I do want to quickly go through, how many minutes do we have? We'll feature three more. 20 minutes before I need to pick up the kids at daycare. So we'll feature three more of the Vitamixes that are on special this week. Um, but just a reminder, all the things that we made today, queso, hot cashew queso using the soup setting. Detox salad using the pulse feature. Frozen dessert using the frozen, where's my drink? Okay, I want just one more sip. Um, the green smoothie that we made, and then we chopped these. Let's see if I can get them quickly. I don't wanna knock, Never mind. And we finally chopped vegetables. I didn't wanna knock over everything. Len, back up Lenny, I'll get me some veggies. And we did all of that with what comes in the bundle, which is the 48 ounce, thank you. The food processor attachment. I didn't wanna knock over my coffee. We all know how much I need my coffee. 
So we chopped these veggies. We also could have made the detox salad in the food processor. So these are all the things that we made with what's available in the gourmet. It's the A3500 Deluxe Smart Prep Kitchen System. Thank you. It's like a hundred bucks off. It's pretty much like the I want it all package. Yes, it's the I, I have been wanting a Vitamix forever. I'm going to treat myself. I'm getting my tax refund and this is what I'm going to spend it on. Full kitchen system. Full kitchen system. I know I'm going to use it. But, but if you want something with tactile controls, if you want something with tactile controls, we'll show you that. So give me one minute. Just bring it in. I will, but I have to move all this stuff, okay. don't I? It's, it's in the way. Okay. We'll move this here. Well, I want to go on mute and have a snack. I know. Everything looks so good. Too bad. More work to do. Okay. We just have a couple more minutes left. Just a couple more minutes. We'll show you what else is on um, special. Oh, that's heavy. Okay. Okay. Tell them what this one is, Lenny, as I'm moving it. That's the A2500. Okay. It's almost identical to the one we just showed you. The A2500 is the one to get if you want, if you want tactile controls. So tactile controls, meaning everything is, you can feel it click. Um, this is really good for if you're visually impaired. If um, technology feels overwhelming to you, the tactile controls feel really good. It's a click, click, click up, down, up, down, on, off, pulse, pulse, pulse. Yeah, and the other downside is that you can't set um, a timer like you can on the, on the one we just showed. So I didn't show you on the one, let's see. I didn't show you that feature, side but that- Side by side. What? Side by a side. Side by side. Yeah. Um, remember I said walk away blending? One of the things you can do is if you don't use one of the preset settings, but you know that you I probably need a container on top to make this work. Okay, safety feature again. Um, I can go up like this, like a microwave, and click it up. Okay, I want this to blend for two and a half minutes and then I can walk away. Um, this one doesn't have that feature. It does have the presets, soup, frozen dessert, smoothie. And of course, variable speed control and variable speed control, which yep. is this side yep. of the dial, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. So that is the A2500. And the bundle that's on special this week mm -hmm. is called the A2500 Home Chef Bundle. Home Chef Bundle. And in addition to the 64 ounce container, the standard one, it also comes with a 48 ounce stainless steel container. Ooh, should I show them that? It's up in the cabinet if you want, yeah. Might as well. Unprepared for that one. Yeah, what the heck? It's right here. Okay, so that's the bundle. The stainless steel with the traditional 64 ounce. Stainless steel is really good um, for hot things and cold things. It's really fun to make like a frozen dessert in here because it frosts up and it's really, really fun. But also for people that want a different um, material for their container or if you are someone that is a household that has different dietary needs, maybe you keep this one separate from this one and this one doesn't use milk products in it or this one doesn't have gluten products in it. Um, you can keep them separate. What's really nice about the stainless steel is it doesn't absorb any flavors. So yes. if you're using like aromatics or Yes, if you're making onions, Indian food or yeah. something that has more of a flavor profile that you wouldn't want in your smoothie, garlic and yeah. onions and stuff, you could do it in the stainless. And not to overcomplicate it, but there's a handful of other A3500 bundle iterations. Okay. One of which is called the food sensitivity bundle. Oh. Which is kind of what you were alluding yeah. to. It's a 48 ounce container that is blue. A colored, yeah. So it's yeah. labeled blue, and it's just like a kind of a standard wet 48 ounce container. But it's blue, so it's like a clue to your household, like yeah. this one is our dairy blender. But we're muddling up the waters. Sorry. We, we want to just say like, <laughs> here's the all in A3500. Here's the A3500. Here's the A2500 if you want tactile controls yes. and don't want the food processor attachment. Now, if you want to save a ton, there's this model, which is very similar to the A25 that we just showed. This is called the 
Sir, this is the recon. This is a, a Pro Seven Fifty. Pro Seven Fifty. This is kind of the, preter the predecessor to what we just talked about. It's a legacy model. It has five programs, tactile controls. The only downside is that it's not compatible with the food processor attachment. But it's a super good deal because it's a certified reconditioned model. It's going to be in black, and it's a really good pick. If especially if you know someone that has one of these, and you're like, I want that one. Yes, this is one that. People like chefs have been using forever. Um, my necklace is stuck in my microphone. Do you think that that's going to be make a weird sound? Nah. Um, this one, if this is your first Vitamix, you will be beyond impressed with what this can do. It can make all the things we just made. Just doesn't have the technology of the Ascent series. It doesn't have the technology. To, and it's or not a, ability to, to run a food processor right. attachment. And the warranty duration is shorter. It's instead of a 10 year full warranty, it's a five, five year years, full warranty, yeah. but the same level of warranty that comes with the brand new model. This is just certified reconditioned. Yes. And the last one we're, we want to show you. The last one we want to show you. <laughs> if you Lenny's just, keeping me on track. If you just want a Vitamix for under $300, here it is. This is the certified reconditioned standard. This is the name for a reconditioned 5200. The 5200 is the one that has been around for 15, almost maybe 20 years. This is the one you see on all the Top Chef type shows. Yeah. They're, they, uh, any professional kitchen has a 5200 in it. One like it. Or one like it. And it's really good if you're making smoothies only. It's like, if you're making smoothies and shakes, this is a great one. This is a narrow container. Um, so the only downside is that it's probably not gonna fit under your cabinets. It's a, too tall. It's three or four or five inches too tall. For standard uh, For you cabinets. to leave on your counter. Some people do this. Yeah, that could maybe work. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. Also, not compatible with the food processor attachment and any future sort of ascent series attachments. But this, if you want to finally get a Vitamix for under $300, five-year full warranty, certified reconditioned standard. Yeah, we can put this one. If we want to bring the A3500 back, the black stainless, and, um, and sign off, we'll have a snack. Okay. I'm getting a workout. Okay. Yeah. We'll go. And then, and then we'll take it all down. These? No, we will not. We, we, we need it to be... The hot soup exercise? Nope. I want it to be pretty. So we've got green. Okay. We've got... Yellow. Yellow. And then we've got... Green and orange. Orange. All right. So, again, this is the A3500, the 48-ounce container, and the food processor attachment. This is if you are ready to go with your Vitamix and you know you're going to use it and you've got a ton of recipes in mind and you're just so excited to get going, this is the bundle for you. Um, but there are lots of other options that are uh, for a deal this week, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, thanks for joining us live. Sorry about the one little um, technical malfunction, but we got it worked out and we made some delicious food and we are here all week to answer any questions that you have. Send us an email, send us a text, uh, comment below, and we will get back to you as soon as we can because this deal, like every Vitamix deal, only lasts for as long as these things stay stocked. So once they're sold out, they're sold out. Um, so let us know if you have questions and thanks for joining us. Bye. Who sticks around for the last one minute of a live video? Well, maybe they think there's going to be bloopers at the end, like a movie. Something. Give, like, give me something hilarious at the end. I don't have anything have hilarious. A, can we, can, I, can have I have a chip? Can, yeah, I'm, the, the ice cream's melting. This is delicious. All right, should we sign off? Yeah. Goodbye. Thanks for watching, everyone. We appreciate you. <laughs> We're a small family business. <laughs> With a big family. With a big family. <laughs> okay, goodbye. Thanks, Bye. guys.